Welcome to Wrestling Biographies. One such legend is John Bradshaw Leefield. JBL wasn't always the character we know today. He underwent a significant transformation, turning from a barroom cigar smoking poker playing Bradshaw into a JRU S gimmick, complete with a suit, cowboy hat, tie, and limo entrance. The change wasn't easy, but it was necessary for his career progression as he rised to the top and beat Eddie Guerrero for the WWE title at Great American Bash 2004. His feuds are legendary. Adding to the drama and excitement of SmackDown, he feuded with the likes of The Undertaker, Eddie Guerrero, Booker T, Kurt Angle, The Big Show, and John Cena during his long reign at the top of the pyramid. He was a force to be reckoned with whilst WWE champion. He employed a stable named The Cabinet. At its peak, it had Orlando Jordan as his chief of staff and Doug and Danny Basham as his co secretaries of defense. In 2007, he made his return after injuries. However, in 2009, after losing the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania 25 against Rey Mysterio, he officially retired the next day, marking an end of an era. Today, JBL continues to contribute to WWE in a different role. He makes a guest appearance as a pre-show contributor and he's now a Hall of Famer. From his character evolution to his current role, JBL's journey has been remarkable. Who would have thought Bradshaw from the APA could change into one of the most hated men in the WWE Universe? ABL, a true WWE legend, his legacy continues in and out of the ring, such as being a Beyond Sports Global Ambassador. You were disliked by me, but looking back, you were awesome. Thank you.